Okay, wow. There's gonna be a lot of editing in the last video, but anyway. I am Cat 13 that woman with the deep voice, and last time we left off, uh, we discovered exactly what the hell was going on in um, that place, yes, that beautiful place called uh, Whispering Rock. And Lily got captured, but we had an epic boss fight with a brain tank, and that was awesome. But now we're underwater, which is kind of terrifying when you stop to think about it, because Raz is horrified of water, so I kind of feel bad for Raz right now, but honestly, if there is anything to get him away from his fear of water, it's just being underwater, I guess. Although, I don't know how this works. Is there, like, a psychic bubble protecting us? I, I don't I don't understand, but anyway. This kind of reminds me of, like, the underwater segments of Jolly Roger Bay or Deep Dark Galaxy. I don't know why they just kind of do. I wonder if they were loosely inspired somehow. Although, this game came first, so... This game came first when it comes to Super Mario Galaxy, but, you know, Jolly Roger Bay came before this game, so... Anyway. That thing is weird. Hmm. I'm trying to remember. There are actually things in this area worth getting, so... I guess it doesn't matter because we are ringing the bell. Let's we'll see what happens. That face. Oh, hello. It's a fish! Uh oh Please don't eat me. Cop up this girl and no one gets hurt, fish. You tell that asshole. Man, it's gonna be hard to find a new place to get you lumps. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of funny. Alrighty. So now it's boss time here on Core Cat 13. Once again, how y'all doing today? Alrighty, so in order to face off with this thing, whatever it's called. Uh, you need to summon the nails. And also, be sure to watch out for the side of the um, water tank here, because, yeah, if you escape the water, those hands are going to get you, and you're going to have to repeat part of the boss fight, so, yeah. Well, this, this feels more like a stage rather than a boss fight, so, anyway. Now we must follow the sphere. And like I said, watch out for the hands here. Uh, okay, now I'm gonna figure out where... Okay, so this is where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, this part is surprisingly kind of easy to get lost on. Alrighty. And also, for the record, um, the lenses there are actually the fishes, so... And I'm not gonna give away what the fish's name is, even though I do know what it is. Uh, it's a funny name, too. It's a name you would not expect, so that's why I'm trying to avoid a spoiler. And by the way, if I haven't mentioned it, those things are breakable. And are actually glass, so... Man, my man Raz here, he's a fucking badass. <sighs> do 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 uh, Oh man, I'm tasting that beef sandwich I had earlier. Whew! It tastes so good, but... Whew! It gives one heartburn. It's crazy. Anyway, we got some roots here. It looks like we need to climb. Oh no. My arch enemy! Swingy things! Alright, now I gotta remember how to do this. Because we can't waste too much time, otherwise we end up sinking, so... Because, like I said, this is the air bubble. Although I am doing a little bit better than I usually do. Because usually I would have died at least once by now, so... Yeah. Mostly just because of the damn camera angles. Although this should be the next phase of the fight, so... Yeah, those hands are creeping me out, let me tell you. No wonder why Raz is so scared of water. If you see those things every time you get close to the water. 
Although I love the fact that it has its own article on Psychopedia. It's kind of funny. Alrighty. Round two, bitch! Alrighty. And how much have you eaten, my dude? This cannot be healthy. Ow. That looked painful. Alrighty. There's the box attacks. Uh! Uh! Get out of my way, fish. Alright, where are my box attacks? There it is. Oh, that should have counted. That's bull dookie. Alright, I'm gonna hang out right here. Ooh, I got two. Alright, start sucking. You know, start sucking like Bowser in Bowser's Inside Stories commercial. I do love the fact that that's how, um, that's how Reggie, uh, Fijime actually advertise Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Stories, like, Bowser really does suck, but I mean that in a good way. That's such a weird phrase, but it's so funny. Okay, I want that. Alright, we're nearly to 400 arrowheads here. Not bad. I know a lot of professional players would probably be like over a thousand right now, but I am not a professional player. I am just an idiot on the internet. So, let's see here. His hands, man. His hands are scary. Alrighty, I think. Yep, I'm supposed to start jumping now. Things are getting spicy. I want that. Every time I see those clams now, all I can think of is fucking Banjo-Kazooie. Those stupid-ass clams that kept trying to steal my items. Ugh. Just bad memories now. Bad memories associated with clams. I've never actually eaten clams before, but we do sell clam crackers. Or are they oyster crackers? I don't know. Never had oyster crackers, and I don't really want to. Like, are they oyster flavored, or do they go with oysters? I, I don't understand how that works. Yeah, the little arrowhead can just go fuck itself. Oh god. Need to be jumping. I need to be jumping. Oh boy. Yeah, that's fine. Do damage to me. I don't really give a shit. Oh man, how much fucking glass is down here? Whoa, dude. I, I, game! Oh, cutscene. Okay. Alright, we Moving around at the speed of. Ah! Oh, there we go. First death. Alrighty, whatever. That happens. Alright, I gotta let the thing distance itself a little bit. Alrighty. Ugh. Okay, that's how it's supposed to be now. I'm supposed to hold back a little bit. Oh shit, now it's actually trying to attack me! What? Okay, come on. Okay, I'm not actually sure. This part's actually kind of like one of the harder parts. Like, I don't know if you're supposed to, like, lure it towards the, uh, get out of here. Unless you're gonna give me some HP, get out of my way. Yeah, I think you're supposed to, like, lure him. I think that was too soon. And I think I'm about to die, so. Oh, that should have counted! That's bull dookie. Alrighty. Well, that did nothing. That's crazy. Alright, come on. Right here, buddy. Ha ha! Alright, time to die. Time to die. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You like that? Okay, I think that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to just lure it to wherever. Alright, so just kind of jump right here. Right here. Ha ha! That's right. That's right. Time to feel pain. Time to feel pain. Uh oh, the hands. Come on, right here, right here, right here. 
You know you want to be inside the oyster. You want to be a pearl. You want to be a pearl. All right, that's too far away. All right, I'm trying not to get hit here. I need an extra hit. Thank you. Oh, don't go outside. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. Come on, right here. Yes! <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, yeah, one life! I managed to do this part in one life. That's hard. Right? Just a normal sized lungfish, minding its own business in a mucus lined air bubble beneath a semi dry lake bed. Hmm. Now, judging by the work done on it, I suspect Maury has mutated it, accelerated its growth, and has placed an implant in its brain to make it do his evil bidding. How does that work? Poor little thing. Yeah, go inside there and try to smash the implant. Use the psycho portal I saw you steal from Sasha's lab. Oh, uh, yeah. That works on big scary monsters? Oh monster schmonster. That thing's more afraid of you than you are of it. Now this is actually it. true. Alrighty. Well, let's go ahead and use the Psy portal. Alright, let's do this. Time for Psycho Dimensional Warp! <laughs> that face. That face is funny. Alrighty. Well, that looks friendly. Whoa, this is cool. I always forget this is a level, but it's a really cool level. You basically uh, you basically get to be freaking King Kong. It's awesome. Ah, top of the morning to you, ma'am. And good day to you, Officer O'Lungfish. How are you today? Oh, damp and happy, can't complain. And what are you and the wee one up to on this lovely day? Oh, just obeying the law as always. All posted directives followed to the letter. Ah, good to hear. Not a one of us wanted. <laughs> <laughs> what is that voice? <laughs> this is epic. I'm a super size ten year old. Alrighty. Welcome to Lungfishopolis! This is probably one of the more interesting psychic worlds because it actually does change up a thing or two. For example, if you notice, your movement and your jumping are a lot heavier than before, so... Yeah, and now you can climb buildings! That's pretty cool! This is a very interesting psychic world we got here. And now we have... A new psychic portal. And on the bright side, it's actually a lot easier to find these um, things here. It's actually a lot easier to see where these um, thingamabobbers are, those uh, figments, because they're huge. Alright, Pyrokinesis upgraded. Level 45, nice. Hi there. Excuse me. It's a fish. Were you talking to me? Ah, ow, my ears. I'm sorry. Ah, oh my god. Ah. Are you okay? He's dead. Oh jeez, I'm sorry. Don't worry. Every member of the resistance is prepared to die fighting the tyranny of Cochamara. What's Cochamara? He's a giant monster like you, Gargalor. He brainwashed and enslaved almost everyone in Lungfishopolis. That's that sounds a little ridiculous. Hey, have you seen any other humans around here? I'm looking for a girl called Lily. The government archives might have some information about your young girlfriend, Gogalore. Yeah, I don't know if she's really my girlfriend. I mean, <laughs> I, think she... I only meant that she is your friend who was a girl, Gogalore. 
To access the archives, we must first destroy the broadcast tower Kochamara uses to control the populace. Check. I'll go smash that then. Wait, Gagalore. In order to reach the tower, you'll need to pass through that wall of lasers. But you'll never make it through the lasers without our help. So are you gonna start helping soon? First, I need you to do something for the resistance. Punch a hole in that prison and free my comrades. You got it. I was literally about to do that. I'm not kidding. I literally was on my way to destroy that thing. And there we go. One punch. Yeah. Gogalore is literally the one punch man in this universe. That's great. Oh, hello. What is that? Oh, we got the shield power up. About time. Strike a pose! I completely forgot that we got a new Psy move in here. I have become Brainstorm from Ben 10 Alien Force Vilgax Attacks! Reassuring. So, knocking down the prison and then breaking this laser shield thing? Nobody's gonna get mad about that and start shooting it. No! Yes. Reassuring. Wait. What Meet us at the dam, Gagalore. For freedom! I love his voice. Alrighty, we got the Psy Shield. Now, I'm actually going to use the Psy Shield in place of... Um... Levitation, because due to our awesome size, we actually are unable to use Levitation. That's actually the main difference in this world as opposed to other worlds. In this area, because we're so fucking huge, we actually cannot use Levitation. We're too heavy. So, uh, yeah. So, I'm just gonna use it in place of it, but don't worry, we'll be right back to normal before then. So, apparently there are a lot of orphanages in this area. A lot of bad parents, let me tell you. Oh, breaking news. The peaceful city of Lungfishopolis is under attack tonight by a hideous, gigantic monster the terrified citizens have named Gunnable. The Navy has responded quickly and decisively, dispatching its entire tank division to... Gee, I wonder who that is! Could it possibly be Coach Oleander? Yup, it is in fact Coach Oleander. I know, Raz, I'm trying to get around that thing so I can destroy more build. God, this is so satisfying, just destroying shit, man. I love it. Ha ha, that's what I think of your stupid ass tanks. Get out of here. Dumbass. How dare you harm the great and powerful Gagalore. Gwahahahaha! <laughs> I am the master of your universe now! No, this is not meant to make sense. But anyway. You know what's funny? I've never actually watched a Godzilla movie, although I kind of want to. I just don't know where to watch one. I'm not talking like modern Godzilla movies, I'm talking like classic stuff. Like the OG Japanese um, Godzilla movies. You know. The ones where the dub is like so hilariously bad that nothing syncs up correctly. Those kind of things. Although I always find that kind of annoying whenever they dub something that's clearly not meant to be like... It's clearly not to be in... not meant to be in English. So at that point it's like, why the hell do you even bother dubbing it? Because, you know, people can read. Or I assume they can. I don't know, these days I kind of question that. Like, I'm not kidding, like... Wait, I can actually pick up a tank? I didn't know that. Anyway. Oh, there's the laser wall. We can't go in there yet. But why would I do that? There are so many figments. And I'm already... I I'm telling a story right now. About the fact that I've never watched a Godzilla movie. But yeah, so if you guys know exactly where I can find a Godzilla movie, uh, let me know. I would love to know. Anyway. Not great. More tanks. You're not gonna get me, bitch. Ooh! Die! 
I love that I'm so giant, like literally just ramming into me, people will die. Apparently you can pick up a tank. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh yeah. I'm so fucking powerful, I can pick up tanks. That was a surprisingly high-pitched voice for that person. Well, things have gotten a little embarrassing for Gagalore. Since when? Surfaced information has strongly linked the previously intimidating monster with common low-life criminal. Earlier tonight, Gagalore broke some of his jailhouse cronies out of the slammer so they could enjoy a night on the town, popping pills and soliciting inexpensive call girls. Well, seriously. Beloved Navy has come up with a high-tech new invention. Trucks armed with hyper-electricity. Kidnapping children do not harm the brains. No! Yep, totally coach Oleander. But anyway, let's go ahead and equip the cobweb duster because we got plenty of them. I have the awesome power of the cobweb duster! Gwahahaha! Uh oh. Yeah, the only downside to the, um, the shield is that, unlike the other powers, it requires you to charge it in order to use it again, so you can't just abuse it. Get out of here. Alrighty, I hear an electric one somewhere nearby. So, let's see. He's impervious to bullets and love. Oh, whatever. Haha. <laughs> I destroyed your laser thing. Now I'm going to destroy you! Alrighty, so this is the actual reason why you needed the uh you needed the shield power up. That way you can destroy the uh thing bobber. But now destruction! Freedom! 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 <laughs> I love that one of them just did not sound like he cared at all. <laughs> he was so, um, Greg Sipes. Yeah, you asshole. You don't say. Does he now? You got it. Does that thing say brains? Well, it looks like we were already on our way there, so... Let's see. Destroy that thing. And you look like you need a deal. Wow, that's a deep voice for a purse, let me tell ya. Ah-ha! That's what you get, bitch. That's what you get for holding my friend. Anyway. Uh, some other movies that I haven't actually seen. I haven't actually watched all of the modern, like, New 52 uh, DC movies. I just haven't had time. I also want to watch all the, um... Uh, I want to watch all of the British version of, uh... Hotel Hell, because that's actually a really good show. Is it Hotel Hell or Kitchen Nightmares? I forget. But yeah, the British version, in my opinion, is a little bit better. I mean, the American version is pretty good too, don't get me wrong, but I just prefer it. I mean, the British version doesn't have freaking Stan Lee in it. I don't know, but the British version also doesn't have any corny music, so anyway. Be free, duffel bag! I'll let this play out because it's cute. Bye-bye. I love that it freezes just before it actually leaves. Anyway. But yeah, if you guys know any of the uh, New 52 movies that are really, really good, uh, just let me know. I'm actually, I'm in the market for it, so. Yee. Let's go ahead and wander over here. Can I actually climb these? No, I can't. All right, we can climb these, though. You're not gonna get me. No, he got me anyway. See, we're only two levels away from upgrading our pyrokinesis. I'm a-okay with that, and we got the purse tag. 
Ooh. Man, I just love how heavy I feel. This is just great. We're at 25 minutes right now. I'm going to have to end the episode off real soon. And I don't want to stop because I feel like I just started. But that's just kind of how things go in LP, you know? I really feel like I haven't talked about anything. I've just more been more reacting. Anyway. I love that the purse has, like, a very deep voice, but it has, like, a very feminine face. Showing that women can, in fact, have deep voices, and they can still be pretty. I just wish that stereotype would die, you know? That women have to have, like, these really, really high-pitched voices and stuff. It makes life easier, let me tell ya. I don't know what he's walking as. He's, he's supposed to be running like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is not how they walk. They walk sideways. Well, they're more horizontal. Which, honestly, that's a big pet peeve of mine when people, like, interpret the Tyrannosaurus Rex as, like... Walking on his hind legs or whatever. Or, okay, let me re-explain. Basically, like, he's walking like a human rather than walking, you know, like a bird. Because, you know, dinosaurs are directly related to birds, so there you go. The destruction and terror continue as the hulking, godless child beast carves a bloody swath through our helpless city. Our Didn't seem too helpless to me. Volunteer Navy has been surprised only by the senseless lust for mayhem that seeps from the twisted black lump of a heart in this creature, still known only as Goggle. Though it loathes violence in all its forms, the Navy has no choice but to activate its anti-monster turrets, which it guarantees are 100% monster-proof. Not get caught stealing children. <laughs> Again, how does he think that nobody is going to know that's him? Alrighty, smack. Ah! I got electrocuted! Alrighty. Bum ba da ba bum bum. Yeah, I'm actually making a little bit more progress than I did during my practice run of this game. Just in this short amount of time, I mean. Although, I don't know how these buildings came back. Ooh, man. Damn. Man, I tell ya, that thing definitely does do quite a bit of punishment, I tell ya. Fortunately, we're all the way up here now, so let's see here. Oh, it's a woman. Brains! <laughs> you missed! Oh, okay, so I can actually do this. It's Run! I'm just grabbing something. Don't worry, madam. You know, how come he's not scared of water in this instance? Isn't he usually terrified of water? Although, I should give you fair warning that in this stage, because of the fact that, um, everything is much harder. Ha genius of our plan, First we print flyers. Then we spread them all over town with my blimp. Winning over the my blimp. Lines of I like the way he said blimp. As soon as six months. Six months? You don't like our plan, you can come up with another one. Yes, I can think of another one right, right now. We have to select cardstock and then find a decent but inexpensive printer within a week. Yeah, my dude, I don't think that's going to work. Might want to come up with a different plan. Alrighty, well, we destroyed a lot of things in this episode, and I basically talked about nothing. Yeah, well, what else is now? So, next time on Psychonauts, we are going to continue here in uh, Lungfishopolis. So until then, I've been CoreCat13, 
and I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Bye.